once of a lifetime and very few of us will see it again. Sky gazers around the country, including those at Toes River in the Karoo, peered beyond their planet to watch the transit of Venus across the face of the sun. It was not the first time Toes River in the Karoo was selected as a special viewing site. Expeditions were dispatched from across the world in 1882 to view the transit of Venus. They went to three southern hemisphere countries. Toes River was one of the six South African sites chosen so long ago. And this is what they were waiting for, a small black dot moving across the face of the sun. Early morning rain and cloud nearly botched the sighting. It lasted five hours and 50 minutes. Early astronomers used the transit to calculate the distance between the Earth and the Sun. It was set at more than 149 million kilometers, correct to within 0.02% of modern calculations. There are some select scientists who are particularly interested in discovering planets around other stars. And by observing Venus move in front of the Sun, they can learn something about how that would look if they were to look at different stars. An American astronomer made a special trip to follow in the footsteps of his countrymen in the previous century. Well, the last transit in 1882 was observed in Wellington, South Africa, by a group from the United States. In particular, Simon Newcomb led the group. He was a famous American astronomer. And he requested that someone observe from his site in uh, 2004 at the next transit. So that's why I'm here. The Venus transit was a good omen. It brought the first winter snow on Bolan Peaks and welcome rain for farmers. This is the exact place where the transit was observed at Tos River 122 years ago. The next transit of Venus is in eight years' time, and then a full 122 years will go by before it's observed again. And certainly none of us will be here to see it. Charles Poe, SABC, Tos River. The path of Venus holds great significance in the African tradition. It marks the start of initiation schools, and it's used with great accuracy to mark the beginning of the planting and harvesting seasons. Venus has, for the first time, or for this passing, been named Nandi after King Shaka's mother. It's also called Nehanda in the Shona language, a symbol still used by Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe. Africans are believed to have been the first to have studied the stars. Evidence of this was found in Mapungubwe near Musina in Limpopo, an area believed to have been the world's first observatory.